welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Wait a minute. How are you happy to be a $4 million ducker? Look, let me just be honest and unbiased. Dillian White comes out and basically states that Andy Reese Jr. turned down a $5 million offer. $5 million, extremely high offer for an Andy Reese Dillian White fight that's most likely going to be on pay-per-view. So he's coming out saying all this about Andy Reese Jr. Andy Reese responds and turns around and says, stop clout chasing. You never offered $5 million. Hashtag lies. So Andy Reese was so proud and so stern and so strong in the fact that, hey, I was never offered $5 million. So, you know, I, I didn't turn down, you know, a $5 million offer because I was never offered $5 million. Now, you know, Dillian White came back and basically came out and stated that, you know, fat boy, stop. Uh, you know, talking trash, facts are facts, come stop me. Now, look, here's the problem. Dillian White posted, posted private conversations with Eddie Hearn, the information sent to Andy Reese and his promoter, and basically put out the information that, hey, they offered Andy Reese $4 million. And he turned that offer down. So Andy Reese Jr. turned down $4 million, not five. So why was Andy Reese so proud that he turned down $4 million? Who's proud to turn down $4 million but an absolute idiot and a moron? You're happy you turned down $4 million instead of five? Are you that stupid? And, you know, here's the problem with Andy Reese Jr. We already know he's a, a habitual liar. And this is this is what I mean by this. This is what I mean. Look, at the bottom of the text chain with Dillian White and Eddie Hearn is basically saying, look, can we get a deal done at five million? You know, so you already know Andy Reese is not going to take a five million dollar deal. You you know, he's not going to do it if he didn't take four. Andy Reese versus Dillian White. You know, you, you would think that that's an extremely generous, lucrative offer for Andy Reese Jr. So why would you turn down four million, much less even try to negotiate the five? Let's just be honest and unbiased. But you know why Andy Reese Jr. is a liar? This is why. Because Andy Reese Jr. initially said that Dillian White rejected the fight. He said that Dillian White rejected the offer. Now he's just coming back basically saying, well, you know, he's cloud chasing. He never offered me five. I didn't reject the five million. I only rejected the other offer. So you rejected four million dollars. So you're proud to be rejecting four million dollars because in his initial tweet, he never said I didn't reject any offer. He just said I wasn't offered five million. So you never denied the fact that they said you rejected an offer. And initially you said Dillian White rejected the offer. Dillian White didn't want the fight. So why would Dillian White not want to fight? Explain that to me because I don't understand. Why would Dillian White make you an offer and then reject the fight? That doesn't make any sense. Why would someone make you an offer and then reject a fight? Andy Reese Jr. is an absolute fat coward. And let me just be honest and unbiased. This is the same guy who turned around and said he wants a tune-up, but it won't be Luis Ortiz. So you want a tune-up for a tune-up. A lot of guys turn around and say, hey, look, let me work my way to a big fight. Let me work my way up to Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua. Let me, you know, I can understand if Andy Reid said, hey, let me get a tune up and I'm fighting Fury next. I'm fighting AJ next. You know, I just need a tune up just to get right, fix something in camp, and then I'm going to take on the best opponent available. You feel like Dillian White's trash. You basically trash Dillian White like he's nobody, but yet you are turned down a $4 million offer to face this guy and you're proud of it for a tune up. You won't even face a guy like Luis Ortiz coming off a knockout loss. You need a bigger tune up in tomato can than that. Are you serious? This guy is looking to fight a guy like Chris Ariola. You're looking to breastfeed Chris Ariola in your next fight instead of fighting Dillian White for $4 million. That's absolute ducking coward trash from Andy Reese Jr. And look, I'm going to be honest about Andy Reese and Dillian White. I'm going to be honest about the fight. I'm going to just be real about it. Look, I think if both of these guys came into that fight, because of both of these guys are skilled fighters, they're both talented. Both of these guys have a lot of things working in their favor. I think that would be a 50-50 pick em fight. So, you know, no one would be wrong for picking one guy or the other to win the fight. But the problem is, is that the fact that Andy Reese Jr. is not even confident in his abilities to take the fight, to turn down the fight. 
He's not even confident enough to take, a, a, you know, a, a Luis Ortiz fight. You want to take a tune-up for a tune-up. You don't want Dillian White to cut some bacon off your back. Look, we got to be honest and unbiased about Andy Ruiz Jr. And he's looking like a premier boxing coward.